What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the change password page for our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, in this video, we're going to work on this change password page. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we've got our profile page all worked out. We did that in the last video, made it all bootstrapified. In this video, we want to look at this link here that allows us to change the password. And we can see right away it doesn't work. So let's head over to our code and we're going to be in our members directory. This is all authentication stuff. So what we want to do is go to our urls.py file and it's the one inside of our members directory. Make sure that's the right one. And we need to import some stuff. So let's go from django.contrib.auth. We want to import views as auth underscore views. And this will allow us to use some of the views that come with the authentication system that comes with Django, right? So let's create a path. And we want to point this to password. Don't forget the little slash there. Why password? Well, because when we come back over here and look, we're pointing our URL to this password right here. So that's the URL we want to create. Now, we're using these auth views. So we can copy this. And what we want to do is auth view dot password change view. And this is dot as view, as we've been doing with all our other ones and put your comma at the end. Now this will work strictly speaking. If we go ahead and save this, head back over to our website and hit reload, boom, we get this Django administration looking page. And this will work. We don't have to be logged in as an admin. We just have to be logged in as a specific user and that user can change their password using this page. And like I said, this works, right? So um, it's not great because we've got a whole theme going on here and this doesn't look at all like our website. So how do we change that? Well, it's actually pretty easy Head back over to our code and we can just pass in an argument into this function, our password change view as view. We can give this a template name and set this equal to, let's point this to registration slash change dash password dot HTML. And why registration? Because in our templates, all of our uh, template files in this directory are also in a registration directory. So let's go ahead and copy this, head over to registration, right click, new file, and let's go file, save as, and call this change dash password. I'm calling it change dash password because that's what the Django uh, documentation recommends, but you can name it anything you want. Now, while we're here, let's, let's go to our login and let's just copy all this code and paste it into the change password. And we want to change this to change password. And we want this thing to say change password. And let's see, the button should probably say change password. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save this. So come back over here, hit reload, boom. And now we have our change password form. So this will absolutely work, but there's a couple of things going on here. One, this doesn't look great. Two, if we change our password and then click change password, it redirects us to this Django administration page, right? Now you're supposed to be able to, just like we did when we passed in this template name, you're supposed to also be able to pass in a success URL, but I find it to be a little wonky and it doesn't always work. So instead, we're gonna change this around a little bit. Instead of using this auth views, we're gonna create our own view in our views.py file. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's just come up here and let's create a new class and let's call this uh, password. And I'm gonna make this plural, plus passwords change view. And we wanna pass in this, let's see, head back over to urls.py, this password change view from our auth views, right? So. Let's go ahead and pass that in like that. Now, in order to actually use this, we have to import it up here. So let's come right underneath here. And this is gonna be from django.contrib 
dot auth dot views instead of dot forms, like right here, right? We just want to import that password change view. So now we can use this inside of here, right? Okay, so the first thing we want to do, let's give this a form underscore class, and that's going to equal our password change form, right? And this is in Django contrib auth form, so we need to import it. So let's just paste that in there, right? Okay. Now underneath here, let's just come down here and for now, grab this success URL reverse lazy and send it back to like our homepage or something. So now if we save this, we need to actually import this thing into our urls.py file. So let's copy this and head back over to our urls.py file. And actually, I'm going to paste that in here for now. I'm going to comment this out just so that it's still there so you guys can see it later. But what we really want to do is change this around a little bit using this guy right here that we just created. So instead of auth views, password change views as view, ah, right? we want to use that passwords with the plural s change view that we just created on our views.py file right here, right? So save this, head back over here. We also now need to import this passwords change view as view up here where we import all of our views, right? So put a comma, boom, passwords change view. Okay, so save this, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. We probably don't need this anymore. Or we could pass this on the, the view itself, but let's leave it for now and save this and head back over here and click reload, make sure this still works. I'm gonna click back and click on this thing to make sure that still works. So our old password, let's try and change this. Type this in. Now, hopefully, if this works, it will redirect us back to our home page. And it did, and that's cool. So that's that's good, that works, but maybe you want to redirect it to a specific page or something. Well, you could do that in the same way that you always redirect things. So, for instance, let's head back over here and uh, let's just create, let's create a new path. And let's call this um, changed or let's just call this password underscore success, right? And we wanna put this in views dot password underscore success. And we wanna give this a name equals password underscore success. Make sure and put your comma at the end. And uh, we're just gonna create an old time, uh, you know, functional view like we've done in the past sometimes when we're lazy. So we want to come up here and from everything import views. Okay, so let's copy this, save this file, head over to reviews.py file, and let's just really quickly, let's go define, and let's call this that, we want to pass in a request, and then we want to return render, return render request. And let's just point this to registration slash uh, password success.html. And we also always want to pass our context dictionaries. And okay, that's fine. Now let's create this guy real quick. And so let's head over to our registration templates, click new file, file, save as, and let's call this password success.html. Save this and just open any of these things. Um, login page is fine. Copy all of this, paste it into this page. And here, let's go uh, password updated. And down here, let's go uh, your password was changed. I don't know, successfully. <laughs> successfully, there we go, da, da, da. And let's just get rid of all the rest of this stuff. So okay, go ahead and save this. So We've, we created a very quick little view, password success. It just points to this page, which just says password was changed successfully. Now we had, need to head over to our, our original passwords change view here and change this. Uh, let's comment this out and create a new one. 
to whatever we named this in our urls.py file. So that was, let's see, password underscore success. So we can come back to our views.py file, paste that in there. Make sure to put your quotation marks. Okay, so that should work. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over to the web page. Hit reload. All right, so let's go. I've forgotten what our password is. We've changed it so many times. But now we click this. It goes to this page. Your password just should change successfully. And you can make anything you want on this page. Make it look whatever you want. I'm just going to do this really quickly as, as this is and just leave it like that. So, all right, that's pretty easy. Now, the one last thing we can look at is bootstrapifying this form, right? So since we have our class-based view here for our passwords changed view, we can easily change this form class like we have other times, right? So if we wanted to, we could head over to our forms.py file, and I'm just gonna grab this guy right here, and copy him, and let's just come down here and create a new one called what? Password changed form or password changing form. And instead of a user creation form, this is a password change form. And we probably need to import this. So let's head up to the top here. And from Django Contrib Auth Forms, pass that in. So password change form. Now, what fields do we want these to be? Well, I happen to know what they are, but if you didn't, you could come to this page, right click and view the page source and just come down here. We've done this in the past, you know, you find the form fields and here they are. You just take off the ID parts at the top. So, or at the, at the front of it. So each of these is, the first one is old password. The next one is new password one. And the one after that is new password two. And those correspond to old password, new password one and new password two. So we can use those. So this is going to be old underscore password. This one's going to be new underscore password one. And this one's going to be new underscore password two. And we need to also pass these into this list down below. So there's that one. There's that one. And finally, There is that one, and let's get rid of the rest of these. So we just have those three things there. We're still using our user model, so that's good. Now, up here, we don't wanna use email fields or car fields. What we wanna use is, well, I suppose car field will work, but here, inside of where, our, where we define our widgets, we don't wanna use input or email inputs, we wanna use password input and instead of text input also we want to use password input and same thing here password input and we're doing form control like before this will bootstrapify our forms but we can also give this a type because bootstrap uh, deals with passwords in a special way on their forms and so we can put a comma on here and call type colon password. And we could just copy this and paste that there and paste that there. Okay. I think that will do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. And now take note of what we called this thing. We called it password changing form. So we need to copy this and head over to our views.py file. And now instead of this, and let me comment this out so we have it in case we need to change it back or something. So this is gonna be form class equals, now we'll just pass in passwords or password changing form. We're saying, hey, use this form now. And we also need to import that from forms right here. And just paste that in. Okay, so save this, save everything. Come back here, cross our fingers, hit reload and boom, now it's bootstrapified. Now if we click this, you see they, they glow, right? If we do the wrong password, we get some error messaging, right? The one thing that's different is those 
those uh, bullet points are gone. And if we head back here and uh, let's comment out this one and uncomment this one and save this and reload this, you can see, well, let's go back to our edit profile, click this again. Now you have these there and those disappear. If you wanna keep those, you can always just copy them, right? So we can right click and click copy and then head back over to our, let's see, change password page and anywhere we want, say below the button maybe, we could just create an unordered list and close our unordered list and then just paste these in. And then we can give each one of them an LI. So there's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And each of these needs to be closed. So copy this and close that one, that one, and that one. So if we save this, now if we head back over to our views.py file and let's switch these back again to use our bootstrapified form. Come back over here, hit reload, boom, now these are there. Uh, it's kind of smooshed up against there, so that doesn't look great. <laughs> so we can come back to our change password page again and you know just give it some line breaks or something. Save this, reload, boom, there we go. So let's try and try this with the bootstrapify. Let's go, let's see. That right? Yes, your password has changed successfully and everything works. So that's the password page, kind of convoluted, a lot of moving parts, but really easy. A lot of stuff that we've already done in the past, you know, bootstrapifying these forms. We've done this a bunch of times already. Same process, basically. We just use password inputs instead of text inputs. But other than that, it's the exact same process. Uh, a little bit different to create this page, right? Uh, using that, uh, let's look at this. The uh, where did our urls.py file go? This auth thing, that's different. We've never done that before, so that's a little bit different. But in the end, we didn't actually use this thing. We still, I guess, probably, I don't know, do we even need to import this since we're not using auth views? Probably not. So if we wanted to, let's comment this out, save this and make sure this still works. And yeah, it still works because we're actually not using that because we changed it to our own class-based view that we made there at the end which is just this guy. And the reason why we did that, of course, is so that we can more easily create a success URL. And then we could also then change the form to this password changing form that lets us bootstrapify it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out. And I really appreciate it, guys. And check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. Say page is $49 to access all my courses. We've got over 45 courses right now, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.